first lesson, we looked at the sitting bones, which we ought to sit on. When we sit on the sitting bones, you feel like two little nails that's poking. So we chose to sit on the edge of the chair and on exhale, we allow ourselves to roll away from the sitting bones. So we feel like we're kind of slumping, but not go into the slump, just roll away from the top of the sitting bones. And then when we inhale, we pull back in to on top of the sitting bones. So we went back and forth with the breath. Then we went forward, allowing the belly to pour over, like you take a soup and you pour the soup and we're in front of the sitting bones and back. That was just for identification because we really don't want to go forward with stenosis. We want to go a little bit back to open the vertebras in the, ver in the back of the spine. And the way to do it is to imagine like a hundred rubber bands that attach to the bone here in the front and they all come into the center Towards the belly button and they are shortening we pull the rubber bands and you just roll a little bit off the sitting bones so the lumbar the, the vertebras where you put your belt starts widening up so if I go to the side you may see it a little bit clearer so my feet are hip width apart my feet are clearly on the ground and on exhale I'm pulling up it's like zipping up tight jeans and you should be able to see a lengthening in here and coming up on top. On exhale, pulling up the rubber bands or tightening up, zipping up jeans and up. So hopefully you could see the lengthening and the opening in here. From there, we went into shifting towards one sitting bones. So one comes up finding back center, shifting to the other sitting bones, coming up, coming back to center. And you do it by pushing the foot into the ground so you can shift the body weight and down. Now I'm going to push my right foot so the right hip can come up. 